The Attorney General of New York has issued subpoenas to former President Trump and two of his children. Prosecutors want testimony and documents from Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump Jr. This is part of New York's investigation into whether the Trump Organization inflated the value of its properties. Trump himself was previously issued a subpoena for testimony. He says the investigation is politically motivated and has filed a lawsuit seeking to stop it. Police and Westmoreland County say witnesses and surveillance video helped them capture a man accused in a road rage killing. They say the suspect left the scene of the homicide to continue celebrating the new year at a bar. As Shelly Bortz found out, the woman killed was a beloved worker at a local college. While on routine patrol in the early morning hours of New Year's Day, a police officer happened upon a car with the engine running on the side of the road. What he found inside set off an intense investigation. An officer from the Ross Draver Police Department stopped to assist the vehicle and discovered Holly Videla deceased in her vehicle from what appeared to be a gunshot wound. At a news conference this afternoon, Westmoreland County District Attorney Nicole Ziccarelli says Holly Videla encountered this man, 25-year-old Anthony Hairston, shortly before 2 a.m. while driving here along Ross Draver Road on her way home from celebrating New Year's Eve with her mom. They were watching Netflix together before watching the Barbara Streisand special. Um, and at that point, uh, Holly indicated to her mother that she had to leave because she wanted to go home and take care of her cat. Chief Christner says investigators pieced together surveillance footage from residents along Ross Draver Road that shows Harrison's white Chevy Traverse following closely behind Videla's red Toyota RAV4. Witnesses tell investigators Harrison tried to pass Videla because she was driving slowly when she swerved into his lane, making him angry. It's then police say Harrison pulled out a gun reached over the passenger and fired two shots at her SUV, one that you can see here enter the side mirror. Just minutes after the shooting, police say Harrison drove here to Sweeney's Bar to continue his New Year's Eve celebration. As we approached those residences that we did, um, they, unbeknownst to the couple, they had no idea what they possessed, which became very valuable to us. The mother of two worked at California University of Pennsylvania. Officials there sent KDKA this statement, saying the university was heartbroken. A clerk typist in the Office of Academic Success for 10 years, Holly was a valued member of our Cal U family. Our hearts go out to her family, friends, and colleagues. This investigation is far from over, DA Ziccarelli says. Detectives were back at the scene today, on foot and with drones. Part of Ross Draver Road was closed in both directions while they worked. We have worked tirelessly and will continue to do so to bring justice for her family. Harrison is being held without bond in the Westmoreland County Prison on homicide charges. He's set to appear in court on January 24th. I'm Shelley Bortz for KDKA News.